Whether we like it or not, nutrition is the most important factor in any body transformation. Whether we're trying to lose fat or gain weight, calories and the type of foods that we eat are the most important thing. You can use all these foods in front of me to bulk up or even lose fat. The main difference is how much of everything you eat. So let's go over a few things that should be either in your fridge or your cupboard at all times. First of all, carbohydrates. When you're cutting and trying to lose fat, you have to limit the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide energy, but they also retain a lot of water within your system. The oats are large flake oats. That means that they're not processed in any way. So I mean, if you get the one minute oats, the GI index, which means how fast your body actually digests all these foods within your body, goes up. So the more processed a food is, it goes up. Sugar being really high. So I mean, if you put a lot of sugar in, in your body, it's gonna get digested very, very fast. You wanna focus on the carbohydrates being low GI. When you're bulking up, you wanna have carbohydrates in almost every single meal. Maybe you wanna limit it before bed, but you always wanna have carbohydrates. These kind of carbohydrates are gonna help you pack on mass and give you that energy in the gym to really lift heavy weight. Another good source would be to add brown rice in there. The next thing we have is some fruits. I think fruits are very important whether you are cutting or bulking up. Obviously, if you're bulking, you can have a lot more when you're cutting, just a little bit less because of all the sugars. However, I think that fruits have a lot of vitamins and minerals that you can really use. I mean, bananas have potassium. You have oranges with a lot of vitamin C. Kiwis as well with a lot of vitamin C. Strawberries, you can get them frozen or fresh, throw them in blenders and all that. All these fruits are high in fiber, which you need. Um, they have a lot of minerals and vitamins and that will only do your body good. Obviously, you want to limit it when you're cutting. Uh, when you're bulking up, just go nuts. The more the better. Next, we have something that's very essential to any diet. Although I don't really have all the possible greens here, you can add broccoli to this selection here, cauliflower, uh, spinach. I got some romaine, I got some tomatoes and some squash, which are all very, very good for you. And I mean, whether you're cutting or bulking, you can definitely up this amount as much as you really want. I'm trying to have vegetables at least a few times a day. It's got a lot of fiber. It's got good minerals and vitamins. And once again, this will only do your body good. But whether you are cutting or bulking, I don't think this is something that you really need to limit. Next in front of me, I got my protein sources. The essential thing to building any muscle, whether you are cutting or bulking. When you're cutting, you definitely want to up the protein intake and the fat intake, which I'll get into after. But the protein intake is very, very important. I got a steak here, very lean. I got egg whites and whole eggs. I mean, whether you're cutting or bulking, you know, you can always use whole eggs. I like egg whites because they up the protein intake. They also taste really good. These cartons are very convenient because you don't have to crack all these eggs and everything. So, I mean, it's... I mean, I mean, eggs are probably the easiest protein source to get, and they're very versatile. You can put them in a lot of things, obviously, as well as meat. Um, you can add some whey to this. There's tons of protein sources. Try not for lean protein so that you're able to add actually healthy fats to that lean protein instead of just having that fatty piece of protein right away. Um, I wouldn't be afraid of using a little bit of bacon once in a while. Uh, with your, when you're bulking, obviously you can up it a little bit because you need a lot of fat. The fat actually raises your natural testosterone within your body, which will in turn help you actually build more muscle. Um, fat in here isn't necessarily as good as other fats from healthy sources, but it's still not too bad. Try not for bacon that has a lot less sodium, or better yet, go to the butcher shop and get them to cut you a few pieces of fresh cut bacon. The next thing that we have is our fat sources, our healthy fat sources. I cannot stress this enough, how important fat sources are in your diet. A lot of people that are cutting uh, and trying to lose weight think that fat makes you fat. That is not true. Fat actually has a lot of energy within it and it actually promotes a lot of natural testosterone building. Obviously when you're bulking, it's very essential. When you're cutting, it's very important too because when you're cutting, you wanna retain the muscle that's within your body and actually shed the fat. You wanna make sure that that testosterone that you have really does maintain and doesn't drop due to the fact that your diet is not in check. Olive oil, almonds, nuts in general, uh, avocado are all very healthy fats. In fact, you can actually 
just use an egg as a fat source as well. I mean, it's got the yolk is actually filled with a lot of vitamins and minerals. So I mean, you can use this as a fat source as well. It's got protein and fat. That's the same thing that you can do with a steak. I mean, uh, if you get a little, you know, a T-bone steak with a lot of, you know, marble on it and everything, um, you can kind of, you know, combine the protein and fat sources into one. Last but certainly not least is the dairy section. A lot of people want to limit this and just eliminate it altogether. I think dairy is very important because of all the calcium that is inside. Uh, glutamine naturally occurs within yogurt that actually helps you retain muscle. Uh, there's excellent protein within milk and yogurt, cottage cheese as well. The good part about dairy products is they are really slow digesting, so they're a very good source to take in before bed. I let you guys listen to me explain all these foods and, and important things to have in your kitchen. You have to understand that the most important part when using these foods is frequency of eating. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have very frequent meals throughout the day. Though it's tough, but you can easily get into a routine where this just becomes natural eating every two or three hours and you know smaller portions rather than huge portions and just try and eat as frequently as possible. What this does is three things actually. When you're cutting, you might be pretty hungry and the fact that you're able to eat more frequently, you'll be less prone to cheating on your diet. Number two is that it actually raises your metabolism. By eating so frequently, you're able to just keep fueling that furnace that you create within your body and essentially you're just adding wood to that fire within your body. So I mean, the more frequently that you add wood, the better uh, the furnace will burn. And number three is all the proteins, all the vitamins, minerals, and everything that is in there, you'll be able to absorb them a lot better if you eat them in smaller portions and more frequently rather than really large portions where your body might not be able to digest everything that is going within your body. I know this because being a competitive eater, I've eaten 10 pounds of food in 10 minutes and you know it goes into your body and then it just half of it just comes out because there's no way the body can actually digest all of that and absorb all of that that's my opinion on the nutrition aspect whether you're cutting or bulking you can use all these foods when you're cutting i would focus on having a high fat high protein diet uh, with a little bit of carbohydrates maybe for breakfast or uh, pre-workout or after workout something like that so you have some energy when you're bulking include a lot of protein a lot of healthy fats and definitely, definitely use those carbohydrates. And that's it, those are the foods you should be eating to achieve your goals.